Hello ladies and gentlemen, my patrons are the people that let you keep seeing videos, so I must thank them. Thanks to Alan, Billy, Blizz, Brett, Caleb, Chen, Christoph, David, Edia, Eric, Gary, Joey, the other Joey, Christopher, Matthew, Miguel, Mike, Mathaldu, Rodrigo, Sack Chief, and Z for their support. Links to support me are in the description. Enjoy the video. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima, and I'm here checking out Access Denied. This is a Radalika port, and it's one of the cheap ones, but honestly, I didn't have anything else to do a video on this Friday, so yeah, just kind of rolling with this one. So this is a puzzle game. You have a bunch of boxes, they have a bunch of puzzles on the side, and you have to go and open them up by solving the puzzles. It's really that simple. You got a few options you can change. I don't even really know why language needs to be a thing in this one. Oh, well, I guess it's a couple of places it's useful, but most of the puzzles don't rely on any sort of either sound or text. It's just like very obvious visual hints, which is kind of nice. You can also turn down the environment. If you're wondering what the hell those no noises were, there you go. You can also turn down the cursor speed, and I do recommend you do that because it's very useful to do that. So if we head home, we can see that the game has got 36 puzzles. And that's not many, because the puzzles that I've got unlocked now are just a little over an hour's worth of puzzle solving. Most of the first page is getting you used to some of the mechanics they use, like dragging sliders, inputting numbers, and just th doing things like looking at lights. But they do start getting onto the actual puzzles around the second screen, so... There is some actual puzzling going on, but again, there's only 36 puzzles, so this game will probably only last you a couple of hours at most if you're pretty good at it. Just worth noting. So, let's go hop into another level, shall we? Although it's going to be the same level. I still haven't figured out how the bloody hell you're supposed to go back to the uh, level you were on, but whatever. So yeah, this is a hell of a puzzle box, actually. The controls are very simple. You can use L and R to rotate, or you can also use the right analog stick. You can use the left analog stick to move around, the X button to interact with things. You can also use it as a touch interface, but it's, it's not great. It's not really worth the effort. And square and triangle will zoom you in and out. So now, we get to figure out What these numbers are. Did I remember to turn my speakers down? Not entirely sure if I did. I don't think it matters anyway. So let's take a look at the puzzle in front of us, shall we? We have we have buttons here. I'm guessing that that is how we solve the puzzle. And we have numbers here, except these aren't really numbers. Hmm. And we have more numbers over here that change the symbols as they go. And it is outright changing them. It's not scrolling them or anything. That's interesting. What do these do? Oh, it's these things again. Right. I don't know why they make you do this. This, this, these sorts of memory puzzles are just a little bizarre in a game like this. But whatever. Okay, so we can say we've solved that, but I'm not entirely sure. Wait a second.
That's interesting. He is not right either. Okay, so yellow is five. Blue is four and red is two. That this might be what they mean, I'm not one hundred percent sure on that. That's what they mean. All right, so yellow is this one, then this one. Then the three circles. Man, these puzzles are weird. Right, come on, use your head, use your head. There's uh, there's no other hints on the box, so it's purely what we've got to work with here. Uh, I've got those all on the same way they display on the screen. So that light's yellow, so I have to do what the yellow one is. I think. I'm, I'm not quite sure how to proceed from here. Those are all right, or are they? Because they've all still got those yellow lights beneath them, what's that about? I'm really not sure how these are all supposed to connect together. You know, like 542...
Frankly, I've got no idea on this one, but that's why they implemented a skip puzzle function. If you're stuck on a puzzle for long enough, they literally just let you move on to the next one, which is kind of nice. I wonder what this one's about. Alright, so we have what appears to be... I can't even really see it now. A complete square there. And you have to do it within four moves. Makes enough sense to me. At least I look somewhat competent. What's the next one? No, oh, great. Right. So if I turn this on, what happens? It goes up. Okay, so I'm guessing it wants me to add up the numbers of the ones I've turned on. So that'd be 7th of red. Uh, 2, 9 for the blue. And 5 for the yellow. No? Nothing on the top. Nothing on the other sides. Oh, no, hang on. There we go. Yeah, easy enough. Most of the puzzles are like this. All the information is given to you, you just need to put it together in the right way. Huh. Okay. Yellow 8. Red 4. Blue 6. These ones are so easy. What was the problem I was having with the other one? Alright. What's this one? Oh, it's one of these little shits. I remember this. Alright. So we have... Oh, hang on. Four. No, we're on a 
don't see anything there. And 35. Four blue, yellow 35. What's that supposed to mean? Wait a minute, I know what it's supposed to mean. That's cute. That's a cute puzzle, I like that. Alright. Well, we're already 16 minutes in and we've shown off like a quarter of the puzzles in the game. Which is like a, a pretty large amount in comparison to the amount that there are, so... We'll make this the last one, and then I'll go back and see if I can figure out what I got wrong in the first one, so... Oh, okay. So being on certain numbers there sets that off. Now, what's this? Okay, it's... It's, it's a red, green, blue thing, isn't it? It's hue. Yeah, because that's pure white. So the question is, what are the colours I need to unlock it? The hint has to be somewhere on this box. Maybe I have to get it to the same color. Like, there's really not much to say about it. Technically, it performs fine. There's not that much in the way of performance drops or anything, which is actually kind of surprising for a Radalika port. The puzzles themselves aren't, again, outside of one or two, like, weird ones, they aren't too hard. Oh, I have to do it with all three. Right, okay, that makes sense. And it looks like I do get a visual cue when I do get the color exactly right, so... Yeah. And I appreciate, uh, even though they're, like... Even though some of them are easy and some of them are hard, I do appreciate the ability to just... Outright skip puzzles from time to time.
yeah, that's, um, that's, yeah, it, there's just really not that much worth saying about it. Um, the upside is that despite the fact that it only goes for a couple of hours, the game is only two ninety nine. It's actually legitimately cheap, and it feels like it was a relatively wise decision to put it at that price. Because being that light on content might make people very wary about buying it at a higher price, but well, when it's only two ninety nine, I find that to be more than fair for a couple of hours of entertainment at least. Even if it is relatively simple entertainment, it's still well crafted enough that I'm not against its existence in the slightest. Okay, so as far as I can tell, those little lights might not have anything to do with it. That might just be a thing. So... Uh, we, had, we had this before, didn't we? Yep, that's right. Now the blue one was... It was three, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. It was, um... Yeah. So no, no, not two. Uh... Five or two, wasn't it? Yeah, that's the right way. Okay, so... So we've got them all in the right spot. Now we have these. I can't figure out if it starts at one or if it starts at zero, because this game has had both. So if that's two... That's five. And that's four. You know, honestly, I just don't understand this one. This is just, this is just bizarre. In comparison to all the other ones, which had everything laid out in front of you nice and neatly, this just seems to be a bit... obscure. Maybe that's the point. It is the last puzzle of the group of 12. Hmm. Well, I know I've got all those rights, don't I? Like, I don't think that... Look, let's just have a look. So, you know, no, no, joyst no weird joystick there. Uh, you know, that one is not right. That one isn't in, even in the order. Neither is that one. And that one's almost there, but it's missing one. Oh, 
How many individual symbols are there? Okay, we've got four unique ones across the top. Then a fifth one. Joystick, the... Yeah, there's six unique symbols. Right. So it can't be find the odd one out, can it? At least I don't think it can. Can't be because there's nine. Oh, yeah, this one's got me, but we've been here for half an hour and there's no point doing much more. So, access denied is kind of neat. It's got some neat puzzles going on, although some of them are fairly easy. And it's only $2.99, and considering that the game performs okay and doesn't crash or anything like that. It, uh, I mean, if you've got a couple of bucks left over in the PlayStation Network account, there are... Oh, God, excuse me. There are worse ways to spend it. This has been Blue Maxima, and I will see you all next time.